hello guys hope the site isn't too dark this time but um today i'm going to be showing you why you shouldn't be buying like um for example gel gel cd scratch removers they're um they they sometimes work but not really that's what they just want you to think so here we have hook um don't worry this also is uh, this is the ultimate alliance case um my friend gave me it and um had the hook game in it so um so it had you could probably see the scratches um but this the one that's under spider man two let me open up let me settle down the camera open it. Okay, has the manual, perfect condition, but the disc may look uh, like it's been treated in good condition, but just, let's just take it out. Sorry, I'm in my mom's bathroom, so um, here it is, you probably should see that. Yep, my friend treats his game, his discs in like in bad shape this is a really messed up game there's like marks everywhere the permanent the permanent they cannot be removed and will not work I buff I buffered it already and it didn't do much so um, let's go with the Hulk disc okay let's clean it and it um, it barely works, like it stops, and then starts glitching, and then powers off. And it's like a dark void. Okay, so, um, you see that? Now we're gonna buffer it. Okay. Okay, get some of the CD scratch removal. Like, shake it, so you can hear the liquid. Now you just add a, you add a little bit right right there. There we go, coming out. Sorry, I don't have that. Ah, oh, damn it! It came all, all out. Damn it! Well, that uh, I'll just have to spread that out. All out. Yeah, there's still enough in there for the next disc. Sorry, this is usually the amount I put, but uh, but it's all in one spot. So why don't we just buffer it all around the disc? Ew, looks like pieces of junk and stuff. Just rub that on it too. No matter how gross it looks like, just rub it anyway. You know what? This is taking a long time. I'm just gonna do it by hand, and I won't be able to hold the camera. I'll show you it. I'll try to buffer it all the way. Just do it, little circles, little circles. There is no guarantee this will work. This is just a test. To to see how bad this works, I could already feel all the rough, the roughness of the scratches, which is why it's not gonna work. That's why it's better if you get don't get Mr. Skip, Mr. Skip resurfacing machine. It's cheap. It's a cheap machine. Like the cheap trick. Okay, I have to do the whole disc, but don't think we'll have I don't think you could see. I'm gonna add a, a little bit more. 
I have to throw this Q-tip away. So what you need is a cloth. If you want it, if you want it with no scratches, if you want it to come out with like not that many scratches, use a micro cloth. But it's your choice. Those those cloths cost like twenty five. You can get them anywhere, but um, just to get something more efficient. something clean okay, I believe now it's done okay damn it I got it out of my camera a little I need to wash my hands real quick do not chew your fingers after this you will feel like throwing up you will you will feel like like um pu like feeling kind of nauseous. So uh, don't chew your thing chew your fingers or um don't get any of this in like in your mouth. Or you will feel nauseous, feeling like puking. This isn't like it won't kill you. This this chemical will not kill you, but you will have to take a lot of, like, you'll have to get, you have to take medication in order, like, after you'll have to take some medicine. I don't enjoy it because the medicine is flavorless. Okay, so. Okay, I hope this video is still recording. Yep, it's still recording. Okay, so um, that's how it's supposed to look like. If you want, you could rub it on the on the, the that ring in the center. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but better if you do it anyway. Who knows? It might be the the place where the the laser lens reads the disc actually. Okay. We'll have mm, you you know you guys have to um, buffer it one more time with the same thing. Like don't add any more of this uh, because there's already a lot there. But when it gets a little dry, keep do it, do it again, and then um, then leave it like that for a few more seconds and. Um, then you have to wipe it off with the cloth. Well, just a little bit. I have to use some toilet paper. Toilet paper. You don't want to get uh, rid of all this. You have to go through a few steps in order for it to work. But I don't, I, I don't think the this will work because because it says that it'll get it'll buffered all the scratches and it will fill those those cracks those micro cracks in the disc. But it doesn't actually do it. It just fades. What it does, it look it makes it look like it it fades a little bit. When when you're done, it'll look like it's faded, like it actually worked for a bit, but it's not. I recommend you use this only for stains, not scratches. Don't even and uh, don't if you think it's light, like it has a lot of light scratches, don't don't use it. It'll just make it worse. You, yeah, as long as it works, as long as it doesn't glitch, like this game does, or that game, which which doesn't work actually, you have a reason to um, to put this on. But I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna work. So just watch the rest of the video. Um. Okay. Two minutes already passed. Let's let's take let's um, buffer it again. Okay. 
Okay, you can, I hope you can see that. Okay, buffer it one more time. Press the disk. Okay. You could barely feel the, um, the, the scratches because it smoothed it. I think you're, uh, you're supposed to scratch the, um, the scratches off. That's what I thought at first, and I got a bad result on my disc, okay? So, um, and I had to get a new one because it didn't work afterwards. So, uh, I, I bet this will work on movies, on movie discs. I don't think it will work on these kind of discs because these are more of the newer versions. This is a, I got, I got this chemical in the pack, like, um, I found it new in, uh, I found this chemical, I mean these two chemicals, these are both from a, a kit called the Scotch Disc and System Cleaning Kit. Scotch is the worst brand ever, except, except their tapes. Tape is good. Well, this is a pretty old chemical from 1997. I found it in a storage area. You know, where you put all your things and your boxes in it. When you don't have any other place to put it. You have too much... Uh, when you're low on room in your house. Yeah. That kind of stuff. It's from 1997. And I can't believe this... Slightly, it's at, it works. I can't believe it works. So, um, this is a CD cleaning fluid right here. Yeah, see that? Well, you could you could hear it shaking. This is the CD scratch remover fluid right here. So, the uh, both these chemicals work. Uh, uh, the clean fluid works perfectly, while well, the other one slightly works. Both good chemicals. Okay, GameStop do, it does sell both of these chemicals only in the, with their logo on it. So, okay, let's let's like um move all this off of the disc. If the video makes it. Okay. Let's wipe it off. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, you need to use toilet paper for this. You don't want to take it all off. You want to actually see if it worked. Okay. Okay, you see that? Yeah, don't take it all out. But... The, don't take the surface chem like all the surface chemicals. Leave one uh, one blurry layer on it to actually. Mm, to, if you still see the scratches, that means it didn't work. Just in case you don't see that. If you still see the scratches, even for them, um, the blur. If you barely see the scratches, probably didn't work. But if you completely don't see the scratches. Then it worked. But I'm recommending you please do not get these chemicals. These are the worst. Don't even get Dr. Skip or other or their thirty dollar products. They're bad. They'll leave you with marks with shattering marks all over your this. You'll see a few details. You'll see a few, a few like um, few spiral scratches on it because of it. And uh, but it'll, it'll the disc will work. It's just it's it'll leave a lot of marks on your um on your disc. So I don't recommend it. I'm getting a pro machine soon. Like those kind of machines that, um, 
actually resurface like shreds the a layer off the disc like small layer very very tiny small layer well it has to look like that it's not like um reflecting that much because it's a little foggy leave it like that a little bit which I think I can already do and uh, take it all out after this you need to put the cleaning fluid on okay so let's just clean all the the stuff away from the disc go in circles like I said go in circles okay this this didn't work before when my friend first showed me the disc um it was kind of bad condition okay it looks kind of faded like it been actually buffered but it leaves behind a lot of light scratches l teeny light scratches that's why I don't like this, this these kind of products these are probably good products back in the 90's when they first came out but um... make sure you put a few drops on it like that let it slide all the way in you probably see the the um, the, the like the chemical study okay I did get a new camera guys but the camera had a defect in it so um, if you're wondering why my videos are so crappy um this this camera is the the DV um three zero three zero three two um these are good cameras but um they but they have really bad image so um just leave it like that for a little bit and I think now you're supposed to wipe it off okay I'm gonna wipe it off with a clean one okay Okay. The disc looks shiny again, but you could still see the you could still see the scratches. See? Can you still see the scratches? I think you could slightly see the scratches because um this has um three point one three point two me megabytes i mean megapixels so uh, y if you don't know what that is you go look at your camera it says it's somewhere on it that means how much um little square dots it could fit to um make the ma image more realistic so so um I'm gonna be doing the next part. The next part is gonna be how to um, make how it works, and then hopefully I'll do another buffering on di on the Spider-Man disc and see if that works. So I hope hope you take my advice seriously. Don't get this chemical. I recommend you don't get this chemical or the fix machines. Get a professional um, disc scratch remover, if you know what I mean. Okay, see ya.